Hey, hey, hey. Uh, look, I, you heard what I said. Is it just a blip? I hope so. Yeah, I think it's a blip, and I think it's uh, completely uh, absurd. You know, today I sent uh, Ted, my uh, colleague, over to Bergdorf. Do you know there hasn't been a rape in Bergdorf uh, uh, dressing room in 32 years? Uh, you wait, know why? Wait, 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 wait. wait. You know why? Uh, what do you mean by that? 19, wait, 32 years ago was 1991. Yeah, uh, we, we uh, went and interviewed the people at Bergdorf and asked them, has there ever been a rape here? And they said, no, there's never been a rape here. I've been working here for 32 years. Uh, I mean, you know did why? Ted just ask, I mean, look, I know that th this did not happen, but did Ted just ask some guy who was standing there? I mean, how did you, I mean, no, like. No, employees. We asked the employees, have there, has there ever been a rape here? No. We went and looked, we went and looked at the, at their dressing room. To, to do a rape in uh, Bergdorf's is like doing it in the open. You might as well do it in the open. It was totally ridiculous to think that a man like Trump, who was very well known, the minute he walks into Bergdorf, everybody's all over him. It's totally ridiculous to think that th this rape no, took we, place. No, we know that. It is ridiculous. It, it makes no sense whatsoever. But Did Rudy Giuliani just say that there hasn't been a rape at Bergdorf in the past 32 years, implying that there may have been a rape there 33 years ago? Or am I just overanalyzing this clearly delusional anecdote from the disgraced MAGA attorney? I'm gonna go with the latter here. Guys, even the Newsmax host was having trouble swallowing this one. And can we just pull back for a second and say, how sad it is that Rudy Giuliani was once a well-respected, revered mayor who was a 9-11 hero and has now descended to a man who was featured in the Borat sequel with his hand down his pants with Borat's daughter in a hotel room, booked a press conference where he spread the big lie at the Four Seasons Total Landscaping, had hair dye dripping down his forehead as he spread the big lie again, and is now a man who is under investigation in the Georgia election interference case where he is a target in the criminal probe. Rudy G., You've got to get your life together, my man, before you go off to the big house. Thank you guys for watching, and I will continue to uncover the truth.